What's up everyone, it's Be The Installer. I'm actually here with a pretty unique and cool pairing. We have the 83 inch LG C1 and we have the Sennheiser Ambio soundbar, which is gonna be awesome. It's actually replacing a 65 inch LG C10 and he had a pretty nice little uh, you know, LG soundbar setup, but wow, the difference that this Sennheiser Ambio and an 83 inch is gonna make, pretty cool. So make sure to smash the like button and subscribe hit the notification, all that, and let's get into this really cool setup and see how it looks. I would just kind of go clean. Uh, you could, I mean, technically you could put these down, but I don't know if the dogs get at it. I would probably, like if it was me, I don't know how tall this Amio is. I think it's like six inches tall. Yeah, about six inches tall. Like I would probably clear it by a couple inches. Oh, that's a good one. Where'd you set it right here? All right. You want it all to go back perfectly in the box so you can square it up. It provides like stabilization for the box if you have this stand in there. Great. Dude. That's crazy, man. As long as we can get it, I'll try to tuck it under the front a little. There you go, just like new. Should I throw the remote in there? Uh, yeah, you can throw it in the back, or yeah, on the top here. Yeah. Throw the batteries. Good thinking, it won't waste them, huh? Beautiful. Awesome. Clean box, man. I think it looks pretty, I think it's just gonna look super dope if that thing just sits on here. The problem with sound bars on the wall if you don't have the cords concealed is that you have cords going from the TV to the sound bar and then cords from the sound bar to the ground. So you have like two layers of cords everywhere. This is a really nice area for that, it's gonna look awesome. All right, so we're gonna have to get this big boy over here. Okay, you gotta give me a little angle, there you go. Good? All right. Good. All right, you wanna open it up? You can. I'm gonna take it over, or either one of us. We got the little plastic piece for the back, remote and all that. This, this TV is like really well boxed. I'm gonna say like almost impossible that this TV could come broken. Who'd you buy it from? The third party or whatever? Yeah, I got it to Green Coat. Yeah, okay, well they're, yeah, they're a little tougher. So you didn't have a chance to check it. I mean, it's not like we can do much if it doesn't work. From the outside, it doesn't look like it's damaged or anything. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, you wanna put it back down? I got shocked. Anyways, let's uh, spin it around so we can get the mount on now. I feel naked without my tools. Two installers is better than one situation. Big time. You wanna throw those two on and I'm gonna... Yeah, what's cool? I'm gonna put, I'll put these on while you put those on and... Ah, I probably stole it. I'm notorious for like misplacing tools, man, so... If you give me a tool, it may be, to, it may be misplaced later. <laughs> You got it, muscles? I'm gonna stand it up vertically. Up to 17, what do you think? Can you see, 17 to the top. Oh, to the, the top. top, yeah, 17 to the top. Cool, good deal. All right, so 17 to the mount, to the bottom, and then eight inches, so basically 25 from the top of that stand, and we're good. So we got this Wallabot, pretty cool device here. The client Blake has, um, he bought it, just to see where the studs were, make sure you know it's all good. So I'm gonna calibrate, I've never used this thing before, so it's kind of interesting. And I'm gonna put it on here and calibrate it. Start calibration. Very interesting. So now place it firmly on the wall and move it left to right. Wow, I mean, I have to say that's pretty straightforward. Metal stud, it gives me the center. We'll slide over, there's another metal stud. And that's all we needed. So this TV's pretty big, but we're gonna put a big Echo Gear mount on this uh, wall here for an 83 inch TV, two metal studs, perfectly fine. So we're gonna actually have the sound bar sit here, which is about six inches tall. 
around 27 inches. The TV be two more inches taller, so at 29 is where the TV needs to be. So right at about 29 there. And then we have 17 inches, which will get us up to uh, 46. So that top of the mount needs to be at 46 on the wall and we're good. If you wanna help me hold this sucker up while we level it and then we'll uh, get, a, uh, get our marks. Yeah, dude, it's all good. All right, so why don't we throw this up? If you wanna hold it up with me, I'll just mark the whole thing real quick. Just under 100. Three quarters, 99 and three quarters. So 49 and seven eighths. Dang, like that? My phone would have been out. I would have been all over my calculator right now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Math is my thing. I used to build bridges. My dad, um, he's always a good math guy. And we had to get this stuff. Like He was pretty fast. So I'm always, I've always been a math guy. Go a little up. Let's get it right in the bottom there. All right, there is level. Get yours. Get mine. And that's how we mark it, easy enough. They, uh, they work. The ones that I have, the Hilti ones, are such a pain in the butt. Have you seen those new ones? Oh, yeah. yeah. They like they crack every like every every other ones crack, if and you're like. If you come in your van for a long time, like I did this stuff, yeah, they crack real fast. And uh, so you buy like a hundred and you use like sixty. <laughs> you gonna hold it for me? What a, what a nice guy, man. So I've also come upon ones where they'll use like those fifty-pound screw-in anchors. Yep. Yep. And I've also, but what I'm saying is, if you use four of these in drywall, um, most likely the TV is good. I gotta bring the whole thing up. Can you uh, lift the mount up just a little bit? Just like pick it up? That's perfect. I move the washers, the big washers onto the weight bearing ones that are on the metal studs, because you had the big washers, so that's why I flipped them. Okay. Right. Just to get a little bit more power on the metal studs because those two are gonna be primarily holding the whole TV, the top two middle. So this is, if you're doing metal studs, this is the way to do it. Quarter inch toggle bolts through the front, the front flange of the metal stud, catches the back, the toggle bolt goes vertical, screw it in tight, the sucker's not going anywhere. We just threw a couple on the edges just so it doesn't have any ability or desire to kind of tip, but really the top outer ones are redundant. And the bottom ones just kind of hold it still, they're not holding any weight either. 46 and change is what we said. 17 plus the 29, two and a half inches above the sound bar, and then the bottom is 17 inches up. So it should clear it by like two and change. Oof, it's nice. Okay. I know my wife Jen will appreciate not having to do this for once. <laughs> Gotta lock those suckers in. Safety screw is always important. Now I'm gonna unbox the Sennheiser Ambio, throw it up on the stand, we'll connect everything and make it look pretty. Go ahead, just open it up and see what's up in the top. What do we got? Oh, we got a, a care package. Instructions, there you go, piece of cake. So we got the power cord, uh, remote. Kinda looks like a Samsung TV remote. Got your typical volume up, down sources, change them. And then some movie modes and different modes for what you're watching, I'm sure. They all sound fantastic. That's the microphone and the calibration equipment there. Give that a whirl in a second. And they give you a, I'm sure, a very awesome HDMI here to connect everything. So there you go. You better do eARC, that's all we know. Ready to lift this sucker out. It's not light. Just set it up here. Very helpful to have my, my good guy, uh, Fadi, here to help. All right, let's open it up, dude. I'm excited to see this thing look. I've seen it at the Best Buy store, that's about it. Pull it, and pull it, lift it up out of that. And then drop it off. Let's get this kind of clear. Is this a streamer as well? Does it have built in streaming? I think. So 
on the back it has auxiliary ins it's got a pre-out for the subwoofer and optical in three hdmi inputs one out to the tv it has ethernet usb and then the power of course okay so we have the sennheiser ambio the 83 inch tv up we have a little space in between so the trick now will be to connect everything to the tv we're going to run all the hdmis in the tv one out to the sound bar and then bury all these wires behind a cable cover because it's going to be a little harder to put them in walls since this is a rental unit. Don't want to mess up the walls too badly. So we'll do that, show you the finished product. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. That is the absolute professional way to do those. No other way. They make it this flat for a reason. It's good, it's beautiful, it's beautiful work. There you go. If you want it, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> oh, right. layer. Okay. Okay, so we're about to turn this on. I'm gonna peel the plastic off, fire everything out. Looks pretty good, customer's happy, everything's level. So let's do that. Ooh. So what do you think, should we fire it up? The WebOS, do not disconnect. You might as well turn on the, the Ambio and just let that fire up too. Woo! Got a little... Sounds nice. We got two things setting up, so I'll turn the volume off on that. Okay, so now we're got the TV on, looks pretty good. We gotta set up the sound bar, so in order to do that, we actually have to connect the microphone. It tells you to put it in the position that you would sit, so there is the microphone in the, uh, the primary spot, and we will then connect it up and get it set. Set up microphone, all right. And then we just have to press the Ambio button. 10 seconds. Definitely sounds great. C1 looks incredible, of course. The Sennheiser Ambio is pretty impressive. Um, I think we're gonna have to move the X-Series X because the sound really does come out of the sides and top a lot more than things like the Sonos Arc or even the HDA9 where you don't get as much vertical sound and sound around you. Those, the surround speakers help for sure in the HDA9, but in the Sonos uh, Arc, for example, there's just not as much Dolby Atmos. It's, it's much stronger on this and the bass, of course. So incredible system, incredible pairing. I'm very fortunate to get to see this and check it out and install it here. We got the cord cover, you know, getting the power cord kind of hidden in a better way. There are a couple wires in the side that we had to leave because they weren't long enough. So always make sure to get long HDMI cords. That's something I probably should have told the client. Um, but besides that, it looks awesome. I'm stoked, the client's stoked. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like button, definitely subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when the next video is uploaded. And just like that, you can be the installer.